Hello, our dear viewers and listeners. Welcome to TV High, the school on the air program of Tagum City National High School. This is your teacher host, Teacher Chem. And today, you will be learning about the individual dual sport, badminton. A lesson particularly in physical education component of grade 7 MAPE, quarter 2, lesson 1. Before we begin, I would like you to get your module, your notebook, and your writing pen, and be comfortably seated at the comfort of your homes. Now, let me give you our teacher broadcaster from Tagum City National High School, Teacher Mars. Good day, grade 7 students. How are you today? I hope that you are all safe during this pandemic. Despite the situation, we hope that you still continue to learn as you work on your own module in your own home. And we're so grateful that we are still able to reach and teach you through our TV High. Are you now ready to learn something new today? Now, listen closely. Towards the end of our episode, you will be able to describe the nature and background of sports as well as the equipment and basic skills. Make sure to have your module, paper, and pen with you. Before we proceed to our discussion, I would like to ask you some questions. Are you familiar with individual dual sports? What are the examples of individual dual sports? How can we benefit from engaging with these sports? All these questions will somehow be answered as we go along with our discussion. Are you ready? We will begin by unlocking some important terms in this lesson. Let us start with individual sport. Individual sport is a sport in which participants compete as individuals. Let us move on to the second term, the dual sport. Dual sports are type of sports that are played by two people opposing each other. Individual and dual sports may include, but not be limited to, archery, badminton, bowling, golf, individual and dual gymnastics, handball, paddleball, racquetball, skating, swimming, table tennis, and tennis. And lastly, the term badminton as the main focus of this session. Badminton is a racket-based sport that can either be played on one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two -two, who will play on a rectangular court on opposite sides that is divided by a net. The game badminton is played by a player striking the shuttlecock to the opposite side of the court, passing the net, and the other player striking it back. Do you know that the game badminton is named after the country state badminton of the Duke of Beaufort Gloucestershire in England, where it was played about 1873? The roots of the sports can be traced from ancient Greece, China, and India, and it is closely related to the old children's game. Badminton is derived directly from Puna, which was played by the British Army officers stationed in India in 1860s. In fact, the first unofficial All England Badminton Championships for men were held in 1899, and the first badminton tournament for women was arranged the next year. Now, what are the equipments in badminton? Yes, these are the racket, the net, the shuttlecock, and the court. Let us define each one. Badminton racket is a lightweight and usually does not weigh more than 100 grams and is made from materials such as carbon fiber or light metals such as aluminum. The parts of the racket includes the head, the throat, the shaft, the face, and the handle. Next one is the net. 
net is mesh net that divides the court into two sides. The badminton net is placed at 5 feet and 1 inch high on the sides and 5 feet in the middle. The net is 30 inches wide with a 1.5 inches wide tape doubled over the top. And we have shuttlecock. It is also called birdie and like a ball in other sports. It is made from 14 to 16 goose feathers placed in a leather-covered cork head. Shuttlecocks can be made from either feathers or synthetic. The shuttlecock has the length ranges between 2.44 inches to 2.75 inches. The shuttlecock can only be stuck once by each player before it passes over the net. The shuttlecock has been known to fly at speed of 180 miles per hour. The rally will end once the shuttlecock has hit the ground. Another one is the playing court. The official court measures 44 feet long by 22 feet wide for doubles game and 44 by 17 feet for singles game. The one and a half feet alleys in each side is commonly referred to as double alleys. There is also a space two and one half feet wide on both ends of the court which is considered to be the back alleys and the ceiling height should be 30 feet. Those are some main equipment which were needed when you play badminton. So, how are you there, dear students? Did you catch all the key points? That's good! In this part of the session, we will delve a little more about badminton such as the type of grips and the basic stroke and the rules of the game. Here we go! There are two types of grips. One is the backhand grip which is used to hit the shuttle at non-dominant side of the body. The second one is the forehand grip, in which the thumb and pointing fingers are round forming letter V while the rest of the fingers are spread supporting the bottom of the handle. So again, the two types of grips are the backhand grip and the forehand grip. Now that you are acquainted with the types of grip, let us also try to familiarize the basic strokes in badminton. A badminton stroke is the movement of the player's racket with an intention to hit the shuttle. There are six basic types. The first one is clear. It is a shot done with a stroke above the head and the shuttle traveling up targeting the long service line. Usually done to give the player Time to return the base position. Second is the lobe. It is a shot done with a stroke below the head about waist level, the shuttle traveling up. Third, the drop. A shot usually done with a stroke above the head and the shuttle traveling up but dropping just near the net. The shuttle falls gently and just clears the net. The flight of the bird is relatively slow and is hit using the forehand or backhand side with accuracy. Fourth, the net shot. A shot usually done with the strokes below the head and the shuttle traveling just barely touching the net and landing near it. Fifth, the drive. A shot usually done with a stroke about the level of the head. The shuttle traveling straight or flat over the net and it is hard stroke hit on the straight line. This is fast moving shuttle that follows the horizontal path from one court to the other. And the last one is the smash. It is a shot done with stroke above the head. The shuttle traveling down with power and speed. Considered one of the most powerful attack in badminton. It is hard stroke, hit sharply downward. Bring arm from behind the body with the elbow bent. Then, forcefully extend your arms overhead to contact the shuttle. Those are the basic strokes in badminton. The clear, the lob, drop, net shot, and smash. 
At this point, let us try to understand the basic concept of the game. A match shall consist of the best of three games wherein a game shall be won by the side which scores 21 points. If the score becomes 20 all, the side which gain a two-point lead first shall win the game. If the score becomes 29 all, the side or player scores 38 point shall win the game. The side winning the game shall serve first in the next game. Service is done diagonally, right to right side or left to left side, depending on the server score. Even scores 0, 2, 4, 6, and so on serves on the right side of the court while add scores 1, 3, 5, 7, and etc. serves on the left side. Service is done with contact of the racket with the whole shuttlecock below the server's waist. A score is earned when a fault has been made such as a service is not correct. The shuttle lands outside the boundaries of the court, touches the person or dress of a player, and touches a player's racket and does not travel towards the opponent court. And those were the basic concepts that are really important to bear in mind when playing badminton. Why do we need to engage in sports like badminton? Study says, that we would be able to improve and develop new skills, leading us to good performance and confidence. Individual dual sports also allow for independence and can be a great fit for a student who doesn't like to rely on someone else's skills to perform well. This would also be the gateway to improve one's physical fitness and mental alertness. There you have it, students. I hope everything is clear to you. Now that we are done with our discussion, let us have a short activity. This activity will check on how well you understand the basic concept of badminton. This time, I want you to analyze the following statement, whether it is true or false. I will give you five seconds to answer. Number one. Badminton is a game that can be played indoor or outdoor. True or false? I repeat, badminton is a game that can be played indoor or outdoor. True or false? Correct! It is true. You can enjoy playing badminton indoor utilizing the feathered shuttlecock and outdoor utilizing the synthetic one. Number two, a score is not earned by the server when a fault has been made by him such as incorrect service. True or false? I repeat, a score is not earned by the server when a fault has been made by him such as incorrect service. True or false? You got it right! The statement is true. Number three, the side winning the game shall serve first in the next game. True or false? I repeat, the side winning the game shall serve first in the next game. True or false? Excellent! The statement is true. Number 4. A player may strike the shuttlecock twice before it flies over the net. True or false? I repeat, a player may strike the shuttlecock twice before it flies over the net. True or false? Great! It is false because a player is not allowed to hit the shuttlecock twice consecutive times. Number 5. Battledore is the first name of badminton. True or false? I repeat. 
Battle Door is the first name of badminton. True or false? Perfect! The statement is false because badminton is derived from the word puna which serve as the first name. Well done, students! I hope you had a great time learning about individual dual sports, particularly badminton. Now, let us have an assessment to measure what you have learned throughout the session. Are you all ready? Please prepare your quiz paper and fill out all the important information. Do not forget to write your name and section. Also, write the episode number in your paper. MAPE Quarter 2, Episode 1 I hope you got all the instructions correctly. This will serve a short quiz today. This is a multiple choice test and make sure to answer it honestly. Okay? So, I will be reading the questions twice and I will give you 5 seconds to choose the correct answer. Are you all set? Let's begin. Question number 1. What is the winning score of badminton? A. 26 B. 21 C. 24 or D. 20 I repeat. What is the winning score of badminton? A. 26 B. 21 C. 24 D. 20 The correct answer is B. 21 Question number 2 What stroke is described when done above the head, the shuttle is traveling up, targeting the long service line? A. Clear B. Drop C. Smash or D. Drive I repeat What stroke is described when done above the head, the shuttle is traveling up, targeting the long service line? A. Clear B. Drop C. Smash or D. Drive The correct answer is A. Clear Question number 3 What stroke is described when done above the head, the shuttle is traveling down with power and speed, considered one of the most powerful attack in badminton? A. Net shot B. Clear C. Drive or D. Smash I repeat what stroke is described when done above the head, the shuttle is traveling down with power and speed, considered one of the most powerful attack in badminton? A. Net shot B. Clear C. Drive or D. Smash The correct answer is D. Smash Question number 4 what badminton equipment is made of 14 to 16 goose feathers placed in a leather-covered cork head and is also called birdie? A. Net B. Pole C. Rocket or D. Shuttlecock I repeat, what badminton equipment is made of 14 to 16 goose feathers placed in a leather-covered cork head and is also called birdie? A. Net B. Pole C. Rocket or D. Shuttlecock The correct answer is D. Shuttlecock Question number 5 Which of the following is the benefit of playing badminton? A. Improved cardiovascular function B. Increase the quality of life and well-being C. Ability to perform well in any work activities Or D. All of the above I repeat Which of the following is the benefits of playing badminton? A. Improved cardiovascular function 
B. Increase the quality of life and well-being. C. Ability to perform well in any work activities. Or D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. That ends our session for today. I hope that you have learned an interesting lesson from our discussion. We assure you that no matter what we are going through, still learning continues. Till next time, this has been your teacher broadcaster, Teacher Mars. Goodbye! Wow, an extraordinary topic indeed. Thank you, Teacher Mars. Thank you for tuning in, our students and listeners. Hope you've learned something today. Stay tuned for our next session here at TV High, the School on the Air program of Tagum City National High School. This is your teacher host, Teacher Chem. Makisabay, matuto, maglakbay dito sa TV High. Keep safe everyone and have a great day ahead. Hi